At a crime scene, anything could become key evidence. DNA, fingerprints, and tire tracks are common. What can also be used are bite marks, such as when a killer bites their victim. When we bite into something like this apple, our teeth leave a pattern. But as evidence, the pattern has not always been measured reliably. Former prosecutor Daniel Blinka says that when properly used, such evidence is powerful and accurate but points out exceptions. There have been a number of cases from around the country where uh, techniques weren't properly done, where there were miscarriages of, uh, of, of justice. Blinka and forensic dentist Thomas Johnson are part of a research team that is standardizing how bite mark evidence is cataloged and then matched to a suspect's teeth. They're creating a database of volunteers' teeth. Specialized software digitally measures the characteristics like arch width and tooth rotation. The program could then compare these details with images of actual bite marks. As Johnson presented at a meeting of the American Academy of Forensic Sciences, they have more than 400 samples so far, but it will require many more to scientifically tell how frequently a specific set of characteristics occurs in the population. It's a start in the right direction, but this has to be continued for many hundreds of thousands or maybe even uh, millions of samples uh, and so that we could get an a, a adequate population database. A high-tech database that could change the way forensic dentistry is practiced. I'm Sunita Reed.